Why is the four factor twelve? Because it can go into it. Because four times three is. Do you remember what twelve is called? Twelve is called the. What's the answer to a multiplication problem? Twelve is a product solution. Yeah. We call this specific solution the product. So this is the product, and 4 is called a factor, and 3 is called a factor. So, Nathan, is 5 a factor of 12? No. Why? Because it doesn't go into it evenly. Look, if you try to divide 12 by 5, how many 5s go into 12? 2 5s is 10, then you minus, right? So your remainder is 2. What do you do with the remainder? So it's going to be a fraction. So it's going to be 2 and then 2 fifths. So that's arithmetic. Let's deal with polynomials. Ashley, determine whether x minus 5 is a factor of x cubed minus 7x squared plus 7x plus 15. Ashley, is this a factor of x cubed minus 7x plus 7x plus 15? What do you think? Hold on, we got to pause it. One second. Please excuse us. The only way to find out is what? you got to divide it. Like we did 12 divided by 5. If there is a remainder, it doesn't go into it. If there is no remainder, it's a factor. Here we go. Long division. It's just a no. Just a no? Yeah. X cubed minus 7X squared plus 7X plus 15. You've got to divide that by X minus 5. Do you guys remember doing the 1000 Club last year? Yeah. Here we go. We didn't finish it. Okay, now. Long division. Ignore the minus 5. Just focus on this x. Just focus on this x. x times what's going to be x cubed? So let's put an x squared here. x squared. Now you got to times it to the x. And that takes you to x cubed. But you also got to times it to the minus 5. So that's a minus 5x squared. And now here's where you're messing up. Now what's your next move? You got to minus both. You got to change the signs on both. Change this to a minus. This is already a minus, so you change it to a plus. So that is zero. A minus seven squares and a plus five squares is negative two squares. And I'm almost out of room. Okay, bring down your next term. Bring down the linear pieces. Bring down seven x. Okay, now x times what's going to turn into a minus 2x squared? Stack it above the x's. So let's go minus 2x. Minus 2x. Now you've got to times it to the x, and that creates the minus 2x squared that we wanted. And then you've got to distribute it also to the minus 5. So minus 2x times a minus 5 is a plus 10x. And now what? Now you got to change the sign, subtract. You got to subtract both of them. This one's already a minus, so you're going to change it to a plus. Maria, this one's a plus. Change it to a minus. So these zero out. What's 7x's minus 10x's? Okay, I'm going to bring it over here. Negative 3x, and then bring down your next piece which is 15. Okay. What are you going to times x by to turn it into a minus 3x? A negative 3. And now a negative 3 times x. Negative 3x and a negative 3 times a negative 5. Positive 15. And now what? 
you get a minus. Minus both of them. Change that to a plus, change that to a minus, and they both zero out. So there's no remainder. So what does that mean? If there's no remainders, it's a factor. So check this out. 4 is a factor, 3 is a factor, 12 is the product. So let's write the factors. X minus 5 is a factor. What's the other factor? This guy right here. x squared minus 2x minus 3. These are the factors. Your product is x cubed minus 7x squared plus 7x plus 15. If you times these two factors together, they give you this product. Now, this x minus 5 you can factor this polynomial right here into two polynomials that look like x minus 5. This is your thousand club. This is what you did. So if you've got x squared minus 2x minus 3, factor it. Turn that into what? We're factoring this. We're going to make this guy look like x minus 5. So we got x minus 5. How do you times to get x squared? X and x. Do you remember this? Now you got a times to get a minus 3, but it's got to add to give you a minus 2x. A negative 3 and a plus 1. That's it. That's it. So we want, for our final answer, we want this. We want that. Look, you can check it. I think Nick's right. Because if you do x times x, that's x squared. If you do x times 1, that's 1x. If you do a minus 3 times x, that's a minus 3x. And you do a minus 3 times 1, that's a minus 3. Yeah, that works. Because that's x squared. A 1x and a minus 3x is a minus 2x and a minus 3. So, you got to factor the factor. Try it on this one. Next one. Okay, you need to show that this is a factor of x cubed minus 7x squared plus 4x plus 12. Then give me all the factors. The only way to show that it's a factor is you got to divide it. If it goes in with no remainders, it's a factor. So, Maria, you got to copy this down. Da, 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 da. X cubed minus 7x squared plus 4x plus 12. And divide it by x minus 2. This one. Okay. Okay x squared and a t. You got x squared? Okay, x, so that's going to be x squared minus 2x squared. Then you got to change that to a minus and you got to change that to a plus. So you got a minus 5x squared. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Ball right in. Now look, here we go. That's a square and that's a 1. So when I times this square to the 1, it should be x2 plus 1. It should be, that should be a cube, yeah. And then it'll zero out. And then the x squared times a minus 2 is just a minus 2x squared. Change to a plus, so we got a minus 5x squared. Bring down your 4x. So x times what's going to be a minus 5x squared? minus 5x and a minus 5x times x is a minus 5x squared and a minus 5x times a minus 2 is a plus 10x change the signs change that to a plus change that to a minus and that's 0 and that's negative 6x 
bring down the 12 so times this by a minus 6 so a minus 6 times x is a minus 6x a minus 6 times a minus 2 change the sign and those 0 and those 0 so yes it is a factor so your factors are this here are your factors your factors are x minus 2 and times that to x squared minus 5x minus 6 and that will equal x cubed minus 7x squared plus 4x plus 12 now can you factor the factor can you bust this up so what is going to times and give you x squared minus 5x minus 6 What's going to times give you x squared? x and x. Okay, 3 and 2 will times give you 6. 3 and 2 could work. So, Maria, it's got to be a negative. So that means one's got to be positive and one's got to be negative. So, so it could be 3 times a negative 2. That equals negative 6. Good, good, good. But now you got to add them to get the middle. So what's 3 plus a negative 2? Look, if you add a 3 and an 8, see, that gives you 1. you got to have 5. Gordon, what did you say? Is, you you got to use 6 and 1. And it's got to be, yes, it's got to be negative 6. And it's got to be a plus 1. There we go. Lexi got it right, everyone. She's very smart. I told her she got it wrong. I want an apology. Here we go, here we go. Check this one out. This one's got a trick to it. Okay, you got to divide this by x minus 2. So you're going to go x to the 5th minus 2x to the 4th plus 4x cubed minus 8x squared minus 5x plus 10. Aye, aye, aye. That's a big one. Here we go. Ready? Let's go fast. That's cool. Okay, here we go. Braden, what are you going to times x by to turn it into x to the fifth? 4x is x to the fourth. So, x to the fourth times x is x to the fifth. x to the fourth times a minus 2 is a minus 2x to the fourth. Now you got to minus them. You got to change both. Change that to minus. Change that to plus. That is a zero. That is a zero. They both zeroed out. So that's kind of weird. Now bring this one down. Bring your next one. So let's bring 4x cube over. Over. X times what's going to be 4x cubed? 4 Look, I'm going to stack it over here. 4x squared. Brayden, pay attention. 4x squared times x is 4x cubed. But then you got to times the 4x squared to the minus 2. And that's the minus 8x squared. Then you got to change it to a minus. Change that to a plus. So I guess i got to bring down this guy. A minus 8x squared. And it happens again. They both zero out. That's a zero. That's a zero. So bring down my next term, minus 5x. And I'm going to times this by a minus 5. Minus 5 times x is a minus 5x. And a minus 5 times a minus 2 is a plus 10. And change them. Minus. Change that to a plus. Change that to a minus. And they both zero out. So it is a factor. So here are your factors. Now check this out. This is crazy. Your factors are x minus 2. And then your factor is x to the 4th plus 4x squared minus 5. Okay. You can bust this up. Gordon, 
What does this break up to? How do you factor this guy right here? What? X squared, X squared. That's how we get our X4. Plus 5, minus 1. Brain, sit down. Stop it. So you got three factors. Gordon, we gotta go one more step. Gordon, Gordon, Gordon. You can break this guy up right here. X, X. Negative one plus one. So here are your factors. You gotta have four factors. You have got to have x minus 2, x squared plus 5, x minus 1, x plus 1. You got to have these four factors. So, what is the factor theorem? If you got to say the factor theorem in words, how do you know if it's a factor or not? Yes, if it divides evenly. So the factor theorem, here you go. Factor theorem, if it divides evenly with no remainders, it is a factor. That's it. If it divides evenly with no remainders, then it is a factor.